in the bargain hunters we are obviously as you can see into stylish forms of transport now about half a century ago when this one was invented you could be stylish on two wheels as well do you remember the lambretta well we found a bloke in weston who thinks he's got the world's biggest collection of them Now I'm here at this old church hall in Western Supermare today visiting collector Nigel Cox and depending on whether you were a mod or a rocker you'll either love or loathe his collection. Not only does Nigel collect and sell Lambretta scooters but he also has a wide variety of related memorabilia. In fact his collection has grown so much over the years that he now believes it's the most comprehensive in the UK. We have one of all the Lambretta solo scooters we have a big selection of the three-wheeler scooters, but plus, which is even harder to find, are all the memorabilia, the posters, the calendars, the signs, because obviously people threw those out, and they're only normally here for a specific time. You know, every time they had a new model, they had a poster or a catalogue, and that was thrown out, and you know, never saw it again. Now, Nigel, you've got some slightly quirky designs. I've noticed one that's got kind of two sets of handlebars. Yeah, well, now, obviously, Lambert are just standard models, but in this country, especially. Um, the one behind my shoulder is an LI125, and it's what they call a dual control. You had a separate set of handlebars, and you had a clutch and a brake, but those overrode the original ones on there. And this was for people who wanted to learn to drive. You take them into a car park, the instructor would sit behind, and it would um, let them carry on without stalling it and you know, braking safely. That's a brilliant idea. Another one which is very rare, which is a Rally Master. Now, this was based on a Lambretta Series 2. But what Lambretta did, because in the 60s people were into competition, they were sporting things and there was uh, trials in the mud, etc. And they built this scooter with a turning front mud guard, a rev counter, um, a stopwatch and map. And obviously people used to enter these in all the different trials and things. And this is a complete one that's been restored. Obviously most of them got battered then, but uh, I mean, that's quite rare. There are a few more cropping up now, but it's got very characteristic red and black lines on the panels. Nigel, have you got any tips for people if they're going to go to car boot sales as to what is a good bargain? Well, yes, I mean, there's a few things you see on the counter. I mean, we were talking about the scooters. I mean, they do turn up at car boot sales, but it's not generally a thing that you find. But if you're looking for and we've got some toys, for instance. Now, these little plastic ones, although they look very cheap, they were actually 7 Eleven in the old days when these were new. How much which is, is that? That's <laughs> about 40 pence for the people that remember that. But, uh, I mean, currently a perfect one of these, you'll get 100 pounds easily. So, I mean, that's something to look for. Is this one is done by a company called Britons, which still exists, and that's a little uh, Lambretta with two people riding it. Again, a mint in the box version is now 70 to 100 pounds, so any of these things you can find. Um, over here, we have some Lambretta scooter mitts. Now, these again were marketed in England. This is the sort of thing that if these turn up and they've got the Lambretta stamp on them, anything with Lambretta is very collectible. Lambretta Club magazines and manuals are also a good find. A manual in clean condition, no oily fingerprints, could fetch up to 15 quid. Any of the people are into more sort of smutty things in those <laughs> days, and this is That's Playboy. Quite a tame front cover, yeah, though. well, it's very tame and it's tame inside, unfortunately, but it does have a Lambretta <laughs> on it, which again makes it uh, valuable. Um, going back here, the calendars. Now, you probably won't find these, but you can never say never. Now, they That's produce great. calendars. The earliest one I know of is about 1955. But these, every year they produced a calendar with different pages of scooters on. Uh, an original calendar now would be worth at least £100. Well, I wonder what happened to my old Parker. I bet I can find it up in the loft. 